you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel in this video i am going to say you how you can remediate your windows machine if if you if you facing any common issue for your windows machine okay so what is this how you can enable it and what actually this does for your windows machine so where do you have to go you have to go to the devices here section in the microsoft intune portal you can uh, and then you can scroll down you will see under the policy the compliance policy conditional access policy maybe based on your access you can see it since i am the intune administrator in my tenant so i can navigate all the way so you see here the remediation right just click on that you see the first thing you see here use of remediations require windows license verifications to be enabled so this is the first requirement if you want to learn more about this what is windows license verifications category this enable the use of intune feature in your tenant that require windows e3 or equivalent license the following feature require you to at least having windows e3 and equivalent license the supported license are these you can check this okay just just i have shown you these are the pre-requirement okay now what is this remediations so you can what actually how it's helped to you what actually this remediation will do so you can create a run script package on your devices to proactively find and fix the top support is issues in your organizations you can use this table to see the status of your deployed script like if you have deployed some power script package and to monitor the detection of uh, remediation relics whether actually whether uh, you have deployed some script and whether it's failing or success or why it's failing right so those results are shown a number of devices affected here so you will see the status without issue with issue how many issue has been fixed and reoccurred this is actually great tool if you are managing your windows devices this is great tool okay uh if you want to learn more just click learn more which is actually very good now you see here remediation the proactive remediation they have mentioned is renamed to remediation earlier maybe you're working as an intune administrator you already know or early, we we call as a proactive remediation now we call it remediation is now available from the device remediation so all references to the productive remediations in this documentation are replaced with remediations because they just rename it right okay so you see in this article what you can see right i am not gonna go through all this article i will put this link in the, in the description so you can go always go through or you can just navigate to the microsoft site so this remediation is actually a what i have already mentioned this remediations are the script actually package which you can build with the powershell and if you deploy to the to your windows machine that can detect and fix the common support issues on the user devices before they they even realize that there is a problem remediation actually can help you to reduce support or so the, and you can create your own own script package and deploy one of the script package we have written i mean or used in your environment to reduce support each script package consists of detection script a remediation script and metadata so you see here each script package consists of descriptions you know, detection script right of course it has to be detected and remedied and the metadata what is the result i mean it's failing or success or why it's failing right or so through Intune, you can deploy this script package and see the report on their effectiveness. Prerequisites, I have already mentioned, whether you're enrolling via Intune or Configuration Manager, Renovation script has the following requirement. Devices must be Azure ready or hybrid Azure ready and meet one of the following conditions. Like in, it, it must be managed by Intune and it must be run on enterprise professional education of four. And this is only for the windows machine not for your android mac or <laughs> a android ios devices okay and licensing of course you will need this one of the license like if you are running on enterprise you must be e3n right e5 license permissions of course the user need permission to appropriate role to see the category and being as an intune service server administrator of course before using so you can build the script 
you see here the script requirement you how you can build through the powershell execution policy and then just deploy this package okay and once you deploy the package to the to your windows devices you can similar like this one you can see like they have you will just create a new script package restart right you can see no deploy status here author who is this how many without issue with issue issue fix all this you can see here right this is actually nice uh right it's actually a nice tool for the administrator to uh and on demand is still on in preview mode so you can force it but yeah this is actually a nice script you can create uh, and deploy to your devices and monitor the script package like this one right which is actually will will give the nice nice right uh, overview what is the issue when it's run what is the os version and device name okay you can always export and you can try this i don't have a license that's why it's grayed out for me so i was showing in this this article but yeah it's a great tool uh, try this uh, script and you i will put this descriptions in the chat so that you can always refer try this and become expert till then thank you have a good day bye bye take care